Okay, so now we're back here. We have two folders in the main party folder. But this numbers, this file name comes straight from the camera and I don't know what that means. And so once I start editing and dropping this into my timeline, it's gonna be really difficult to know which shots are 60 frames per second and which shots are 24 frames per second. And I'm also interested in knowing which shots I shot first and which shots I shot later. At the beginning, there's a lot of light and towards the end, it starts being the evening. So I like to use this free software that comes with every Mac that it's called Automator. Okay, let's let's bring that out. Out. Um, here I just go new document, and then it's a new workflow. Press choose, and then go into files and folder. Here I'm gonna go get select finder items, and I'm gonna grab and drag on my canvas here and then you're gonna also select rename finder items here I'm gonna say no because I want the original names to change and I don't want any duplicates so I'm gonna go don't add so what I need to do is select this clips that I wanna affect and then I go here and then I'm gonna do a sequence, make sequential. And then I'm gonna do a new name. And I'm gonna call it party at 24 frames per second. And then af after this name, I'm gonna do a dash or an underscore. I like underscores personally, but you can do whatever you want. And so this is how it will start lo to look like. So number one for the first clip, and then it will go on a sequence. Let's see, let's see if this works. You press run, and look over here. The 24 frames per second folder change all of the names of the clips that were inside of that folder and made a sequence. I think that's pretty cool because once we go into Premiere and we start laying stuff on our timeline, this is gonna be very useful. So I can know exactly where each clip is coming from. And also if you start having a lot of projects, this is something way easier to find than just this like camera default naming system. So let's do that now for the 60 frames per second. I'm gonna copy this just to have as a reference. I press enter and then I press command C for copy. And then I'm gonna select all of this because these are all the items that I wanna affect. So I just selected, make a sequence and then now I'm gonna change this name to 60 frames per second, 60 frames per second, and then underscore, and then start making a sequence. I'm gonna press run, and I'm gonna see over here, boom, change. So now this is my party 60 frames per second, clip number one, click number two, click number three, and I know that clip number 43 is gonna be darker and it's just gonna keep going that way. Cool. You can just delete this uh, automator file. Okay, so we're back here. And now I'm gonna open a new bin. For that I can do Command B for bin or I can press this icon down here. Okay, this bin I want to rename to party class number three. There you go. I can change the label if I don't like that color. Let's say forest for now. <laughs> 
and then I can import my two folders with footage. There you go.